Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Will and Deshaun show. I am Deshaun. And it's your boy, Will. Will, how are you today? I am doing great. How are you? I'm great, too. That's good. Good. So, y'all, today we want to talk about Malik Yoba and his, and his transcapades. <laughs> that transcapade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> transcapade. <laughs> now we found out why New York was on the cover. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Will, you want to fill us in on the story? Sure. So, recently Malik Yoba had come out on his, um, his Instagram and okay so here's the thing he posted a picture of on his instagram of the young man who recently committed suicide um who was being bullied um by straight people because he dated trans girls and they say he died from a drug overdose um so i guess he still basically committed suicide i guess died by suicide should we say and he went on his instagram to say that he also is attracted to trans women he said he's attracted to all women. He said he's trans women. He found himself to be trans attractive. So, of course, the internet went ablaze because a straight, heterosexual, masculine, up, you know, hyper masculine kind of black man said that he was attracted to trans women. And, you know, um, right now, trans people are a trend. Very much so. And I, just being honest, trans people are a trend. Um, we're, they're now, we, they, we now have this. Trans women now now have visibility on television. Um, they're the butt of jokes. Um, they're also, you know, continuing to be killed. At least, it seems like every month now we're hearing about a new trans girl. Um, recently, two trans with trans women of color have been murdered. You know. <clears throat> So to get back to the story with Malik Yoba, so now people are saying, well, is he gay or is he this, is he that, is he this, is he that? He's been dropped from his, um, from Sigma, right? From Sigma's youth, he was over there in youth program, they took him off of that. But do you think they took him off because of the pedophilia allegation or because of the trans allegation? What, the trans? Some of them didn't trans. Oh, okay. that's, that's had nothing to do with it. So there's a couple of stories come out since he revealed that he is trans attractive um now they're saying that as a young trans woman who says that her Malik Yoba was you know messed up she's a trans sex worker who says that her Malik Yoba was allegedly messed around when she was 13 years of age and then basically she was uh that she's suing him and so he kind of basically wanted to get ahead of the story also it actually in the comment section his wife was like, uh, I wish you would have discussed that with his ex-wife said, I wish you would have discussed that with, with your children before you made this announcement. Yeah. Ooh. So that can get messy. Here's the thing when it comes down to um straight got men. Because at the end of the day, people are thinking like, okay, is he gay? Oh, he gay because he was around trans women. No, he's still a straight man. Because trans women are women. They might not have been biologically born a woman. But that's what they've always been. It's it, as their gender, as their chosen gender, as their gender, who they are. Not, they, not even a chosen gender, because they're cho- they were they given gender where they were assigned as. It's a lie, okay. I'm gonna say this: they were, <laughs> as true trans women were assigned male at birth, but you know they was all, and their, their actual gender was a woman, and they transitioned to become a woman. So, <clears throat> with that being said, Malik Yobo is still a straight man, even though he likes trans women. Because at the end of the day, when people see trans women, especially passable trans women, you see a woman. You don't know what they have between their legs. Even if a trans woman had or have not had the transitional surgery, on the outside, you see a woman. And there's a lot of beautiful trans women. If if you watch the show Pose, a lot of those trans women on there are very passable. You know, you would know they, they weren't trans. Now, there are some who, you know, you're like, okay, I can see you being trans. But there are some, like Lulu, like Angel, the character Angel and Lulu, even um Candy and Jennifer Ross. <clears throat> and also, Janet Mock, who's the executive producer on the show and the writer and director on the show, they are passable trans women. So, you would just see them and not know that they were trans women if you didn't even know if they were, because they were a celebrity of them being a trans woman. And you would see them on those, those women on the street. You would see women. You wouldn't know that they were trans. Now, in the case of 
Electra, the PlayStation person who plays Electra, to me, Electra is more trans looking. Mm-hmm. Um, even, um, oh my god, I can't think of Laverne Cox. Laverne Cox to me is tr- more of a trans looking, even though Laverne Cox is very woman looking and very fishy, but she looks like fish. a trans woman to me. Um, hmm. Okay, so I just feel like yo man, I, I don't care what you like. I, At the end of the day, care. I don't care about labels. I don't care about what you like. You like what you like, and I don't think there's something wrong with him like a trans woman. If that's what he like, that's what he like. Um, uh, far as when you see, I think different people see different things. Absolutely, because everybody's perception. Is yeah, different. everyone's perception is different, and, again, and everybody. I would say this again: everybody transition is. On certain levels, yeah, that's that's true too. Um, yeah, so I think that's different as well. It just kind of depends on what eyes you're looking out of, I guess, as far as what they see and what they're attracted to. Uh, of course, there are a lot of trans women that are quote unquote passable. Um, there are, there are a lot who are not passable, and it's a lot who are not passable too. That's that's very true. Um, I, you know. <sighs> The lines can be so blurry when it comes to sex, which I don't think is a bad thing. Because I think you attract to what you attract to, as long as it's not pedophilia. Like, I don't see what's wrong. Right. If you like chicks with dicks. Oh, that's offensive. Uh, why is that offensive? That was, no, that's offensive. If you like trans what you like, or trans men, whatever you like, by all means, go after what you like. Like, I don't, I don't see what the big deal is, personally. Here's the big deal within the black community. It's what the big deal It's is. always a big deal in this community. Absolutely. And we're going to get to the root of it because we're not allowed to express ourselves sexually and like what we like. We have to like what we like undercover. Sex is a very thing that's very taboo. Even if you were straight, you know, there's sexual things that, quote unquote, you won't do because it's taboo, you know, right. because of maybe religious belief or just how you were brought up, your, your conservativeness or whatever. Um, there's a lot of things people, straight people do sexually. You be like, oh my God. But you know what I'm saying? But when it comes, that's okay. But when you have, when you have, uh, like I say, I, maybe you're dating a trans woman in this case, or even if it's two gay men or two females together, you know, again, like I've said before, and I recorded said this again, uh, that, you know, they have this kind of fantasy when it comes down to two women being together versus two, I would say, yeah, two um, feminine women being together. Now, they'll, not to say that they, they, they fantasize more about that than more of a dom and a feminine, um, you know, lesbian couple, I should we say. Um, because of that, because of the stipulations that we've been taught in the black community, people are not allowed to be free and say what they like. There are so many people who've been messing around with trans women, who've been outed by trans women, who probably still sneaking with trans women. Like, if you get to know a trans woman today and listen to their story, I feel that trans women have it the hardest out of the whole alphabet people, as Dave Chappelle said. And this is why I didn't get offended about Dave Chappelle's special when he said that and when he explained the different things. Because I was like, you know what? That's true. The, even in the, in the LGBT community, they treat trans people wrong, especially gay men. Mm. They still treat trans women wrong. Up until now, until a show like Pose, who's giving you trans um, visibility to actually make you really care about trans women and the issues that they go through. And you get to see um, the, some of the issues that they go through. That's why I like the show Pose so much, to go back to that, because they show you the lives. Even if this is a fictional show, they give you some of the things that trans women and trans people go through. You know, from dating like a straight man who who, are, who is trans attractive, like Angel did in the first season, but he couldn't be with her based on society. Mm-hmm. You know, and how, you know, Electra had this sugar daddy, you know, in the beginning, and he didn't want her to have the surgery because he was attracted to that. You know, he liked that part. You know what I'm saying? Because people like what they like. Mm-hmm. And also, to even like with people like Blanca, who doesn't feel like she's more passable enough for her to be loved and to be, be attracted to her because of her stage and her transition. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, I, 
just feel like people can like what they like. But that's this too just too much in our community just too much phobia. Okay. I think it's starting to drop. I don't think so. I think it is. I think I think it's just being brought to the light. I think and when things to deal with get brought to like, I think, I mean, we have a show called Pose. Like, the but fact that that show is on air okay, means that they people are becoming. Shop. Let's be honest, let's be real. Not everybody watch Pose. Not of all course. people watch Pose. I mean, of course, not everyone is on bar with trans, but times are changing. Absolutely. But, um. Because, like you said, the show Pose in general, we would, in my lifetime of being a man of a particular age, I don't think. I can say even five years ago, five years ago, I that we would have trans visibility like this. Right. You know, there was, was years ago that we couldn't even get married as gay people. Right. Trans is just, it's a really trendy thing right now. Not only trendy thing, I think it's an issue that I think is best talked about by people who are trans. But because I think I just I just think trans is a really deep thing. It is. I, again, it really I, is. I feel as in the community, for us who are not a part of like um, gay families or the ball scene where you're like in house scenes where you're around a lot of trans people, that you kind of don't. Because as gay men, we don't know what it is to be a trans woman because we're still men. You know, right. at the end of the day, they're not a trans woman or a trans man for because we also got to, we don't want to leave those people out as well. We don't know what it is to walk in their shoes. We live in Atlanta and we see trans people. I live in Chicago and I see trans people. You know, I would say the Vert Cox is actually the first trans person I've ever seen on TV when she did she did that show I want to work for Diddy. That was the first time I ever seen a trans person on TV and that was very um, revolutionary. You know, and for her and now to see her in Orange is New Black and other projects that she has done, you know, and the, she was like even ambassador with um with Ivy Park with Beyonce and all that stuff. So it's like it's amazing that unfortunately I, we can still count on our one or two hands, less than our second hand, of how many trans women we have um, that we know of who have a platform who's not who doesn't have to do sex work. I'll use T.S. Madison for instance. T.S. Madison is very a popular um, trans woman here in Atlanta who had her who has a show called The Queen Supreme Court. She was first doing Queen's Court with Kaya, and uh, now she has her own show called The Queen Supreme Court. And Madison is very popular. Madison is very kind of like well known, but Madison also once was a sex worker. And she tells that, she tells her story on how she was once a sex work sex worker until she owned, she started doing um adult fish. She had to rent her own adult site and to now being to transition out of that even in your introduction of most people introduction to T S Madison was when Vine was out. And she would show her genitalia. She had a dick, right? <laughs> I mean, she, she 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 does have a penis. Okay, and she would show it on Vine. That's, that's what I was trying to say. If you like chicks with this, if you like uh, that's still a T.S. Madison, or if you like a full trans woman, uh, whatever you like is what you okay, get. Sure. And I, I think it's I a big have, I have to interject because saying chicks with dicks is still that's how is that offensive? It is offensive, but I'm not talking about fully trans women who have. We're, there's a lot trans. of people who still have not transitioned over. Yes, but a lot of people still haven't. Just say. For instance, a ten-year-old who says, "I'm, I'm trans. I'm a girl," okay. who has not done hormones, who have not had breasts, who doesn't, who haven't had, maybe had their facial surgeries or anything to feminize themselves. They're still transgender. It doesn't mean. Well, I'm not saying that she's not transgender. I just, I know some people like what they like. All I'm saying is whatever you like is what you like. Yeah, that's true. But and I don't think anyone should be is very, is unless, very unless, of course, it's pedophilia because you know you can't mess with the children. Yes, because y'all pretend you want to throw that no, in our community as well, and that's not. But um, yeah. what you like is what you like. And that's Absolutely. Yeah. So. But again, you know, it's unfortunate that in our community you can't like what you like. You can't like trans people because you're going to get talked about like a dog. They still, they sent, we saw the video of them literally bullying this young man because he was a, a trans girl. He right. sure is attractive. Right. And we don't know the full story of it because there's different versions of the story. They say, one, he started, he overdosed because the girl was going to leave him. Then there's a story that said that they, the family think that the girl actually killed him. Then there's a story that said that he 
was so pressured and so bullied that he couldn't deal with it because he was attracted to a trans woman that he killed himself. And we shouldn't have to be in 2019 being bullied for liking who you like. Right. I agree with that fully. Yeah, most definitely. Let people live their life and mind the business that minds you. Right. You know, because at the end of the day, people still look at us like we're abominations. They're like, we're sick because we like other men. Right. Because we're attracted to other men. Because people are like, how are you attracted to another man? Why would you want somebody to punk you? Why would you want a dick for you? Why would you want to stick, stick a dick in a nigga ass and all this stuff? Right. Like, people have problems with that. Right. And, and people, people have problems with whatever you do. Absolutely. People have problems with right. a lot of things. But the thing is, mind the business that minds you. Right. You know, that pays you. Um, you know, if people would just accept the fact that people like other things but outside of what you think the norm is or what right. your norm is because me being gay that's my norm you know this is something that I live with this is not something I've chosen this is not something that I just set out to I'm gonna be gay no this is just something that I am Right. You know, I'm, right. I'm 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 a man who's attracted to another man, that, and that has nothing to do with sex. Right, 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 right. That is, I want to be with another man, um, not also in the sexual way, but I want that affection from another man. Right. That's what I want to spend my life with. It has because a lot of times people still have that issue where they like all oh, it's always about sex with homosexuality or with gay people. For me, I liked men even before I even had sex with a man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I was attracted to men. Right, right, right. Way right. before I had sex, I was like, "Oh wow!" Even now, you're just it, into guys. I'm just into guys. Yeah. Like I can look at a guy and be like, "It's wow. real simple." He's like I'm, how how straight men say how they feel when they look at girls is how we feel when we look at guys. Right, right. Like we can even look at straight men and find that so them. hard to understand because people don't want to understand it because they people don't want to deprogram themselves and people still are in the matrix. Right. So they don't want to. They don't want to get out of the matrix. They want to stay in their little box of what their religion and what their parents taught them and what they what their representation is on TV. Now that we have become to get more representation on TV, they feel like oh, it's an agenda. We're turning the children gay. We're turning the children trans because they're posed and they have a gay show and they're gay characters. That has absolutely nothing with those people who actually own that show. Because all of those people on the show of Pose, as well as me and you and others, we didn't have representation on TV of us. That's why we still got a little bit of representation. Absolutely. It comes to just a regular like, gay man. Absolutely. Black man. It's just... I, I told you until... There's more no trans in us. In my I, I told you until I saw Corabo of the Real World was the first time that I saw a gay man that I identified with. That's one person. <laughs> and that's just one person. So, yeah. And after that, I ain't seen no more. Until now, do we have like the shows like Style in Hollywood? Even I would even say North Art. And I, I would say this too. Now you can go on YouTube, and it's like you can find representation in other places. Absolutely. So everyone doesn't have to just go to TV to look for representation. Absolutely, because you can find yourself. We are way more represented in our own platform. Right. Like you said, like we have YouTube shows, podcasts, even our podcast. You know. Right. This is a representation. Somebody can relate to Deshaun or myself. I tell my personal stories on here a lot, actually, and um, to help connect with someone. You know, because there is people. When I was younger, I did not have that. I went through my life not having um, somebody that I can look up to. Well, you know, we should interview a trans person. Absolutely, I would definitely love to. I, I, I would, would like to interview someone of. All, of the whole community, because a lot of things we also put, we also um, put down bisexual people. Right? Why is that? So I understand why people don't understand bisexual. Why you can't be attracted to both? Because we feel like you got to pick a side. Why you got to be in the box? You you can't Again, like we shit. Feel like we got to pick a side. Jesus. Because it, you know, it's easier to understand, well not understand, but you see, okay, you're gay, you like another man, you're a lesbian, you like another woman. Okay, cool. But when they get to that, when they get to the gays, uh, to the B side of it, oh no, you gotta like both. You gotta like one. You can be you're gay or straight. Right. I don't understand. Again, they don't understand that that you can't be attracted. And to some gay people don't understand that. Absolutely. Yeah. Hand raised. <laughs> Why you got just don't get that? Like, you know, I'm, hand raised. I was like that. At this point in my life, I'm like you. Like what you like. Like 
That's how I am too. I'm so like that. Like I'm so I, I mean, like, like that. Again, to go back to what Deshaun said earlier, Lone Chi is not a pedophile, and I'm adding bestiality. You know what I'm saying? Don't go around having sex with animals, and don't go around having sex with children. Just but if that's what you like to do, I don't condone it. But I mean, and at the end of the day, even if like I got a distant cousin who's trans, and I, oh, I wish he was closer, maybe I should reach out. And um. I just, I feel the same way. Like, if that's, if you want to be trans, if my brother, a sister, a cousin, or Will, or whomever decided that they wanted to be trans, I would not love you any differently. Absolutely. Live your life. I'm going to have to have a talk with you, though. Absolutely. It's, I'm because like, you do want to understand. Like, wait a minute. You, <laughs> wait a minute. Like, okay. Let's stop. Like, you know. Again, and this is this is something that we talked about before, right. and that kind of like came out of nowhere and baffled us. The guy Jacob Kahano, who now is Jessica, Wait, you know, we didn't. Nobody saw that coming. We didn't see that coming. He was popular in the gay community, especially here in Atlanta. He's a very handsome, muscular football build. build he was. Um, that's what I said. Was um, young man, but now he's transitioned over to be a woman, and that was like, whoa! What do you wait? Wait, what? What? What had happened? You know, that was a shocker. Because, but at the end of the day, this man probably was always wanted to be the woman that he always was, but he had to pursue this macho persona for so long until the point that he said, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm going to be who I am. You know, individually. Again, I have a friend who recently came out. You know, who was married and had children. So he was clearly a bisexual man, but now he's a full um, gay man. Right. And that's said that he still might not be bi or be, or, or be one of the att- one, still attracted to women, because I feel like he's bisexual. Um, but now he's fully living his life. You know, now he's stopped um, caring about what people think, and now he's fully loving who he is. Mm. And I think that's if people allow people to love who they love and stop worrying about it and stop minding their business and get the plank out their own eye or sweep around their own front door and mind their own business. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, the, it's a verse in the Bible that says, live a quiet, mind your own business and live a quiet life. Right. That means I'm staying out of other folks' business and mind your own. And I'm all about people, like, I, like I've been saying throughout the whole show. I'm all about people loving who they want to love. You know what I'm saying? My only issue with trans is it's a very big step. So I, I just want to make, that's why if anybody was to, who was close to me, if I found out they were trying to transition, or want to transition, I would I would just have to have a, a talk because the surgery. What would be some of your questions that you would like to know? Why? Okay. I, what I, if that person told you, this is what I've always been in the inside, and I, now I want my inside, my outside to match who I am on the inside. I would say, okay. I mean, I'm not going to argue with the answer. I don't, you know you better than I know you. You can look at, look at Caitlyn Jenner, for instance, somebody who transitioned way later on in life, who probably, and it was always rumors that he would like dress up in women's clothes and stuff like that. Mm. And, you know, now he, he's like a big star athlete, Olympian, you know, masculine white man who, Transitioned to be a white woman, and now who's living his truth? And that was like a big shocker for people. He has children, he has kids. He was on our television, so we seen him transition from open being a. Right. I mean, man, no matter who, what age it is, I would still ask why. Whether oh, absolutely, you know, at the end of the day, it, get an understanding. With all your right. getting, get it, at, get a understanding. And I would just ask, like, are you ready for that? Are you ready to go through the surgeries and some people are and the um. The, the hormones and the, like are you truly like I would have to really like you want to like know what's their reason for I would want to know the reason I would want to know why I would want to know are you ready for this I would want to know have you talked to anybody else? like I would be asking questions you know what's so funny the shot I was think I thought about um, when I think about trans people and I think about trans people of of old um, how before like like I said before like the surgeries and the, before people got on hormones just say even I'll go just say the 50s or the 40s or the 30s when people probably was trans because this stuff has been around forever mm-hmm. you know people who could not get the surgery or let their outside match who they were in the inside who, who had to probably like sneak and just wear women's clothes or have a wig or something at home they could never be seen outside like that and I was like wow they probably live such a miserable life because they could never fully be who they were that's so interesting it's just interesting it is I don't know it's just really interesting but like I said I ain't gotta agree with 
everything anyone does, I would still love you. Hell, there's some people who do things right now while like, but it's right. all good. Okay, like we gotta we'll go to wrap this up soon, but you have a coworker mm-hmm. who transitioned. Mm-hmm. How did that uh, make you guys feel from knowing him as a guy to now knowing him as a woman? Um I wasn't bothered by it at all, of course. Um, it was a little sudden, because literally, like, one day he was a guy, and then the next day, like, the next time I saw him, it's like we were addressing her as a, a female name. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know. Like, I suspected he was gay, right. but I did, when she transitioned and became a she, and we had to address her, like, I I didn't even know. Like, oh, wow, okay, well, girl, do you. And um, from then on, I just... I respect her. I approach her as such, um, you know. And you know. do you think she's being treated fairly at work? Yeah, I think she is. Yeah, I amongst, think everyone amongst the coworkers, not the, not the upper management, the coworkers. Yeah, I think we all respect her. I think we all treat her like a person. I don't think anyone because I think she's still there. I think she's comfortable there. Like I don't think she has a problem with us. We don't have a problem with her. I think everything's the same. Okay. Like if a person has a problem with her, it has nothing to do with her being trans. Okay. It's with something else. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So yeah, I think it's. It, I think it was an easy transition. I think, like yeah, like people aren't. I'm not gonna say everybody, but at least at my job, no one's bothered by it. You know, of course, we said things. Of course, you know, we had something to say to amongst each other, but it was never even amongst each other a disrespectful thing. Okay. It was kind of like, damn, is that happening? Like, is this shit really happening? It was, you know, it was shocked like that, but it wasn't like, oh, I can't work with this. Oh, I can't right. do this. I it can't leave this. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, and some of the girls were even trying to help her. Like, oh, they, that's, yeah, that, like, that, that's a big thing because you yeah. know a lot of times women don't, <laughs> um, you know, they kind of like go away with the trans women, right? So um, they don't feel like, and that's why I feel like times are changing. Like people are disgusted by. Them. Do you think that's because of the representation we're getting on TV and through the internet and other outlets? Um, I think it's that as well as you know. I think generations, things ease up with every generation. Okay. And I think we're just starting to like, like, it's not bothering me. Like, why would I be bothered okay. by that? That's cool. Know? So I'm glad. Yeah. Like, I'm glad that times are changing. I'm glad that um, the younger and the youth won't have it as hard as we did. You know, and we didn't even have it as hard as the people that did before us. And they didn't even have it as hard as the people that did before them. You know, so I am really happy that we now do have representation, small as it is, that we do. And now there are so many people that you can go and talk to. You know, um, again, it's a great thing. I'm happy. Let people love who they love. You know, mind the business that mad you. And I want to thank you guys for listening to the Will and Deshaun show. I want you to subscribe if you have it. Um, like, as well as hit the notification button. Drop down in the comments and let us know if you are trans attractive, if you are a trans person. And if you would like to be interviewed by us, let us know as well. You can hit us up on Instagram at the Will and Deshaun show. If you want to talk to me personally, you can hit me up at, the, at Best of Black on Instagram. And you can hit Deshaun up at Deshaun Deron on Instagram. And thanks guys for listening to our podcast again. And you guys have a great week. Bye. Bye, y'all.